You ready? Hey, listen. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Lawrence's Let's Plays. This is A Plague Tale Innocence, Chapter 8, Our Home. To my returning viewers, thanks so much for your continued support. And if you are new to the channel, thank you as well for stopping by. Guys, do give the big old thumbs up if you're enjoying the content. Leave me comments and let me know what you are enjoying about the content, as well as subscribing to the channel uh, to join Lawrence's Legends if you haven't already. With nothing left to say, I'm Lawrence. Let's play. will wake me up hopefully down here hang on homeboy gotta search for these collectibles my man oh I can get some upgrades too take that let's see hmm holds up to 16 materials 14 ammunition Amisha no longer needs a workshop to upgrade her equipment. Reinforced by thick weather bands, Amisha's belt carries enough tools to allow her to change equipment anywhere she likes. Let's do that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Nice. I'd better stay with Hugo. I'm coming, little bro. Hang on. Just here searching for some resources and the collectibles. Hugo's waiting for me. I'd better go. I'd say that was pretty thorough of, my, of a search. We've got a lot of work to do. Oh yes, the things we found. This will stop us losing them in all the mess. Oh cool. This is like all the collectible shit I found. I wouldn't say that's everything. But nice little touch. <laughs> Aha! Green lion devouring the sun. I hope it's not a prophecy. Let's go ahead and read about that real quick. And so you guys know, I'm going to go ahead and read uh, these last things. So in the previous episode, I, or I'm sorry, the previous chapter, chapter 7, um, be sure to check that one out. I missed uh, the horseshoe and the map. Went back, did some research, and found out where those were. So I can put those in a, in a video at the end of this to show you guys uh, where these two collectibles were if you like but anyway these are the collectibles I got and we'll go ahead and read what these are as quality of life improves population size grows faster than food production added to the various plagues befalling the crops this makes famine take on a dramatic dimension pushing poor and rich to superstition despite their new roles good luck charms Horseshoes are still expensive pieces of ironwork that are crucial to farming. Using them to attract luck is a major sacrifice for a farmer. Then I found this map in the area where there was all the grass that we had to use our stealth mechanics to avoid the guards. Widespread among noble and learned circles, maps are rare and expensive as well as imprecise. That is why practical and inexpensive directional signs proliferate at road intersections. The village is sometimes located several days walk of each other. 
are ravaged by famine, war, and disease. It is through these same roads that the, pl the plague travels accompanying the fleeing populations who follow the saying, leave quickly, go far, and come back late. And then this is the newest thing we just got. Icon iconography. 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 I think that's how you pronounce that. Alchemy fascinates scientists as much as it inspires artists. The recurring symbol of the lion, de lion devouring the sun is an allusion to alchemical dissolution. The purpose of this process in which vitriol attacks sulfur is to separate the crude substances from the subtle ones. Okay. Now let's follow Hugo. Hold up, Hugo. Amicia, where are you going? It's all right. You can come. Okay. Where does that lead to? We'll go back there. Lucas! Oh, there you are. Sleep well? Not a wink. This laboratory's in bad shape, but it inspired me. I'm on the brink of completing the great work. And you, you can help me. Oh, yes, yes. What do we have to do? Amicia, I need the file from the left-hand table. Uh, all right. And me, and me. What can I do? We need light for the last step. Hugo, go get a candle. I can do that. We'll go get a candle, little man. This is teamwork, baby. Here. This is how we do it. Solve shit together. I don't see anything else. Alchemist lived here. Maybe Laurentius too. Oh, I th that must be it. Here, anything else? Uh, yes. A concentrated laurel sap. It's just behind me. I'll get it. What's a great work? Can I eat it? It is the elixir that would illuminate your path. A beacon for the bearer of the macula. It came to me during the night. Here. Good. So, the angel's tear. The pinnacle of alchemy. The elixir. You... Wow! The great work! Uh, it wasn't supposed to do that. Uh, it doesn't matter, Lucas. Perhaps we uh, should let you rest, right, Hugo? Well done, Lucas. You're a sorcerer. Amicia, come on. I'm coming. Follow Hugo to the ramparts. Okay. Oh, shall we go down first? Let's see what's down first, Hugo. For some glowing shit. Looking for glowing shit. Oh, a grave. Who is it? I don't know. We can say something if you'd like. Sorry to disturb you. We don't have any candles, but we will leave you in peace. And thanks for looking after us. Come on, let's go. Okay. By the way, have you seen Melly? No. Uh, she's... Maybe she's That's already gone. Oh book. no, I wanted to say goodbye to her. Wow, this castle must have been empty for centuries. Oh. An alchemist crucible. Uh, Lucas will be happy. 
alchemical crucible, an alchemist's most fundamental tool. This stone container is able to withstand extreme conditions, high furnace temperatures, and acids without eroding or breaking. Throughout the alchemical process, it carries the potential of the final great work. All right, well, maybe that's what he needs to complete the great work. Well, let's both do it. Ah! <laughs> Having fun, are you? I'm sure the Inquisition are too. Melly, we thought you'd gone. Come on. We need to talk. Alright, what's up, Melly? What's the matter? This castle is a ruin. Ah, and that's exactly what you need. Whoever built this place really didn't want to be fucked with. Be good and you'll be fine. So, you're going to find Arthur? If I can help, he's my problem. You heard what I heard. Those Inquisition dogs took him to the Bastion. I know where to look. I'll find him. Amicia, look! Listen, with Hugo, it doesn't look easy, but believe me, it's worth it. He will save you. They always end up saving us. Even if, you know, brothers, sometimes you just want to kill them. The Simba is Amicia. I believe you. Anyway, don't leave without saying goodbye. <laughs> As if that was my style. Amicia, please come. Yes, Hugo. What did you find? Hold up. Manual of the Language of Birds. Poetry, perhaps? Hold up, Hugo. Got shit to read here. Alchemists, whose practices are regarded as occult and dangerous by the majority, go to considerable lengths to encrypt their work. Since antiquity, they have used this language of birds, a code based on metaphors, word games, and chirping sounds, as well as a mystical symbolism of letters which reserves the true meaning of their texts to insiders. Well... Aren't they sneaky? Sneaky McSneakertons. I do believe we've got everything in this chapter thus far, because there's two of those. Yep. One of those other than the flower. We gotta get the next flower. What's up, Hugo? Down there. It's the drawing. What drawing? The one in the dining room. I'll show you. Come on. I'm following you. You're right. Alchemist coat of arms, maybe? Have you seen the tree? The tree? Come on, over here! Slow down, <laughs> speed racer. <laughs> Come back! Where are you going? <laughs> you found new friends. Yes! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sick. No, no, no. It's a touching little moment, the memory of those they lost. Listen, we are going to find a way to cure you. And there's Lucas and Melly now, you know? Lucas, come see the butterflies. Looks like someone's having a good time. <laughs> getting bigger <laughs> yes the macula is spreading through his blood the books say there are several thresholds in the process and at each threshold the carrier may be lost how much time do we have very little Hugo is nearing the first threshold my master and your mother were trying to slow the process down but how what were they doing 
They were working on a very complex elixir that would allow him time to prepare. And do you know how to do it? I don't have their knowledge, but their work was inspired by a forbidden book. The Sanguinis Itinera. So perhaps with the book? I'm afraid could... not. The Sanguinis Itinera is dangerous. It is sealed together with other works in the university basement. Just getting there would be near impossible. Suicidal even. Normally, yes. But if we take advantage of the current chaos, we might have a chance. I know the place. It's in town not far from where they keep my brother. If you're ready to take that risk, I can help you get in. Thank you. Right. I'll get my belongings together. Meet me inside when you want to leave. In that case, you'll need some equipment. I'll get it ready. Hugo? I'm really sorry. I need to leave. Don't worry. I'll stay with Lucas. Good. I'll be back soon. Father, mother, you'll always be here with us. Hey. What have you found? Here, it's St. John's Wort. Oh. It will protect you when you go to the town. Must be powerful stuff. Yes, it's a very good flower. It looks good on you. Thank you. St. John's Wort indeed. Also called St. John's Herb, it is a symbol of animosity, but also one of protection and light. St. John's Wort is considered a remedy to melancholy and other mental afflictions, despite its nickname Devil Hunter. Damn. Ingesting it can still significantly disrupt the heart rate, causing arrhythmia and tachycardia. Damn. Well, I guess it's okay that you put it in my hair. <laughs> As long as she doesn't try to eat this shit, I guess she'll be all right. A regular heart rhythm and tachycardia. Say what? That ain't good. At last. All right, come on. Here. And one last thing. Laurenti has told me once that there are roses scattered along the path to the brook. So keep your eyes open. Roses. All right, we will. Wow, what can I say? I had no idea that chapter, because it, it's really been a long time, about two years since I beat this game. I did not remember that chapter ending so abruptly. So I think this is a great place to stop. Once again, I appreciate the hell out of each and every one of you guys for stopping by, for joining me uh, with this series. You know, Again, remember, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do remember to subscribe. And uh, keep it locked here for more of Plague Tale Innocence content. Uh, when we pick up next time, we'll be on Chapter Nine in the Shadows of Ram or Shadow of Ramparts. Appreciate you guys again for stopping by. This has been Lawrence for Lawrence's Let's Plays, and I am out of here. Take care, everybody. <laughs>